Hi, I'm Tom Stebbins with the University of Tennessee Extension for About.com. Today I'll be talking about common diseases in a flower garden. Diseases in a flower garden are basically fungi, bacteria, and viruses. And then they occur on different parts of the plant. They occur on the roots, they occur on the stems, they occur on the leaves. And so the idea behind figuring out what's going on in your garden you have to look for them. The way I like to do it is to get into the mood or get into the mode of going out. We're looking for just something that's not quite right. Either the plant isn't growing properly, it's distorted or twisted, or there might be leaf spots on the leaves. We went out today and we actually saw this one disease on zinnia. And this is a leaf spot disease. There are little tiny specks, almost like pimples, little black spots and that would mean that it, it's a fungal disease. Another problem is powdery mildew, and it, the name says it all, basically. It's a white-looking, powdery-looking thing that's on the leaves. The reason you know it's a fungus is, again, we took it back to the lab and actually looked at the spores. Rose rosette disease is a virus. You'll see a rose that looks fairly good, but then all of a sudden, one branch of the rose will look really purple. You look at that purplish looking plant that looks like a lot of stems are just coming out of that one area. Then you look at it even closer and you'll see that it's just hundreds of thorns in that area. And that's how you basically identify it, by the thorns, by the purplishness, and by the multiple stems. And then unfortunately, that's a good telltale sign that this is uh, the rose rosette virus disease. We saw a stem rot of uh, Gallardia. And basically what that was is if you look along the stem, you'll see that it's discolored. It's usually a fungal disease that attacks the, the lower part, just above the soil line. And most likely spores got splashed out from the ground and it worked its way up the stem. In our case, in this Gallardia, we saw that very few leaves were attached right there. Some plants uh, don't make it. Some, some will die, uh, will fall over right from, because of that stem rot others um, will grow out of it. Another problem that we saw was uh, root rot. And root rot is actually underground, like it says in the roots. The way to diagnose that and to figure that out is usually your plant's gonna be wilting because if, a, if the roots of a plant are rotted, the water can't transport up the roots very well. And often if you know you've watered it real well or the plant is still drooping, then it's a good chance that it has root rot. If some of the roots look mushy, or if they're dark, black, then that's a good indication that you've got some kind of root rot going. Thank you for watching. To learn more about diseases in your flower garden, visit us on the web at about.com.